Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this month new makeup releases. We have a lot to talk about. I'm hopefully gonna cut a lot of them out because I don't want to talk about boring things. And there are a lot of boring things. But trap in, get a snack because it might be a long one or it might not be a very long one. Who knows? Once I start talking and then I never stop, who will know? Who will know? So let me go to the side. How many times have I upset you by not being on the side? Too many. Too many. I upset myself when I come to edit and I'm like, you idiot. <laughs> yep, that's me. So I'm gonna be here. I think this is. I think this is good for me to put the picture here. Uh, I think so, I think so. Let's talk about new makeup releases. I'm excited to talk about them. Anyways, the first thing I see here is a new palette that's going to be coming out from Glam Light and it's going to be called the Happy Hour Collection. And this one is going to be called the Dirty Martini Palette, which is going to be 15 shades of shimmers and mattes and it will be coming soon as i mentioned already and if this one's more like a green a like more dark green instead of like this kind of green i don't think there is enough green in this palette there is like only three that i can see here the matte shades and the shimmers i think there is like only two and oh, I can see the dirty martini is a bit lighter, but it's not good enough. I think it should have been much more, much more green. I don't know why there is like a rose gold in there. Do dirty martini, which is very hard to say, have pink in them? Anyways, I still think there is not enough green and supposed to be a green palette. But if it was like more dark green or like the cocky palette from Huda Beauty, I would have loved it even more i'm very into green lately i don't know why but this is not enough green for me and i don't know i want more whatever it's not for me it's not for me it's okay someone else will love it and enjoy it they also have another one which is going to be called which one is this the wine palette and it's going to be like fully purple and wine colors <laughs> obviously good one and again it's going to be like 15 shades of shimmer and matte so i think they're going to be a lot of like alcohol kind of like drinks inspired palettes this one i kind of like i think this is much more purple like you can see there is more purple in here than the, in the green one like and you have this shade and it's like this blue purple color it's so beautiful carbonate carbonate so that's it <laughs> but it looks so like rich and beautiful i love it i love the shades of it anyways they look really really good this one is one i like more than the green one actually let's talk about the next thing which is available to buy now and it's doja cat and bh cosmetics how did that happen <laughs> you have like this biggest eyeshadow palette it has 36 shades and it's going to be 36 dollars and you have a mini shadow quad you have a powder blush trio and you also have a loose powder highlighter it's going to be i think three shades cara eyeliners lip products brushes there's a lot of things a lot of things i like the shades and the blushes actually they look very unique and like different especially for a drugstore brand so that's cool to see. I actually really love the blush. Like the one that's the darkest where you have like the orange. Also the one that has a yellow blush in it. Looks really really cool. I love it. And the highlighter, they look nice. I mean it's a loose highlighter. The lip products, they look very cheap. Whenever I see the shade of gold and, and it's very shiny, it always looks very cheap for me. I don't know why. But why is the quad has this tiny ass pants they look so stupid <laughs> they look so weird <laughs> like you have this big packaging and then the pants of the eyeshadow is so tiny it's so weird anyways yeah a lot of things big eyeshadow palette looks a lot like a lot of shades too many for me but i love doji cat obviously who doesn't and yeah 
I don't know. I have nothing to say about this connection. Like, if the blush palette was very, very cheap and it was on sale, maybe I would try it out. But none of the quads I like. The big eyeshadow palette, I don't like. I don't need any more lip products. And I definitely don't need a loose highlighter. So, that's all I can say about this collection. Next thing is going to be the holiday collection from Pat McGrath that is available to buy now. You have a big eyeshadow palette two um blush duo or not blush duo like face trio and two quads i think yeah two quads and one highlighter first let's talk about the big eyeshadow palette i really don't like it it looks like a lot of shades put in, into one palette and i don't think they work really well together i i don't know maybe because i usually like wear pink and brown so for me to look at this palette i'm just like the shades are so different from each other how am i going to use it and how am i going to get a full look using this palette maybe that's my fault and not the eyeshadow but it's too much i think there is a lot of different color family in this palette so it kind of feels overwhelming for me the trio of the face product i know i don't use like blush palettes I ignore them so I don't think I would buy it but I don't know sometimes when I go onto the Pat McGrath website I don't know I get it's like brainwashing <laughs> I buy things not even being aware of them but the quads I really really like both of them actually the one with the blue shade I was like mm, ugly I don't like blue and then I saw that it changes color from like purple to blue and I was like yeah that's beautiful it's stunning. I actually was going to buy a quad from Pat McGrath when they had a sale on, I think, last month. The quad that I wanted wasn't on sale, so I didn't buy it. But I'm like looking into quads now. Ever since I bought the Marc Jacobs palette, which has seven shades, I realized how easy they are. This is why people buy them. I'm such an idiot. I want like a quad that I can use all the time and, and it looks good so this i kind of i kind of like it got to be on sale but 100 buy it i'm not gonna pay full price for it because it's not worth it the highlighter on the other hand looks every highlighter that Pat mcgrath comes out with look exactly the same shade i really don't know why she always comes out with like one highlighter shade and all the time they look exactly the same are they the same and you just like one highlighter I don't know. She just changes the packaging, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but they all look the same. Oh, every time. Every time. I couldn't tell you there's a difference. So let's talk about the other collection. There is a lot of like collaboration coming out this month. But Urban Decay came out with a collection with Marvel. And it looks... Urban Decay, whenever they do a collection, I think, from what I've been aware of, when I started wearing makeup but every time they do a collaboration with someone I always feel like they didn't do enough you know I feel like they put a lot of effort into the packaging and that's it when you look at the inside you just feel like underwhelmed and it's it's not enough at least it is for me though but what do you have in this collection or in this collaboration you have a big eyeshadow palette it has 15 shades you have two highlighters i think is it two highlighters yeah two highlighters and you have eyeliners that i hear are good from urban decay i think that's the only good thing that they have and their spray their spray is good you have lipstick i don't know what this is the one in the squeezy tube let's find out let's find out i have no idea it's not mentioned here it's going to be available october 1 one day before my birthday so if you want to buy it you can buy it then but yeah I, I just feel like whatever is there someone that loves marvel enough to buy their makeup i feel like people who, that love marvel are more into like collecting the comics and maybe like the merch and stuff not really makeup though but apparently it is we see a lot of collaboration with marvel and a makeup brand so obviously it works and people buy it. i enjoy marvel i watch every marvel movie that comes out but i don't like it enough to buy 
makeup products and they always look so like you know not enough i'm coming into the center i just i should be here i should be here oh, i don't know i feel awkward when i am on the side and i can see i am on the side and i'm just like this space what is wrong with you I should be here so so <laughs> next thing is going to be uh i don't think i talk about lady gaga's beauty brand house labs they have love for sale eyeshadow palette this i kind of like it's more of my kind of color palette i kind of like it i kind of like it but one thing i hate about house lab is only available i think on amazon is it available on their website i don't know and does it ship here but it's supposed to be for the holiday collection i think maybe i don't know you have actually 18 shades and this palette is going to be 48 dollars and yeah one dollar from every palette sold will be donated to tony bennett's exploring the arts foundation if you are into it you can buy it i kind of want to try their eyeshadow palette again i keep coming to the center i want to try their eyeshadow palette and this one again i really kind of like the shades and this palette it's like a neutral with a pop of color I enjoy seeing a pop of color in a palette because it gives me like oh I'm a colorful kind of person when I'm not <laughs> I just like to have one shade in a palette that I don't even use so let's talk about this stunning little thing oh my god if I had the money I would buy this Chantikai yeah that's how we say it I forgot how to say the brand but Chantikai is coming out with a limited edition product and it's going to be for holiday it's available now to buy and it's going to be the highlighter and uh, i think this is going to be is it a blush or eyeshadow it's a blush one of them is a blush and one of them is an eyeshadow and one of them is a highlighter so three different kind of like product the highlighter is 110 dollars the eyeshadow is 75 dollars the blush is 75 dollars how am i supposed to buy this what bank should i rob <laughs> even though like the highlighter i don't think i would be able to use it it's it's a white highlighter it's not going to be showing up on my skin but it's so stunning i just want to look at this product all day long it's so beautiful it's so beautiful oh my god whenever i see like a packaging that looks like this i'm just like people who are working on this really love their job and they're like let's go crazy let's go insane and I, I love them for it. I love it. Next thing also I would like to say, we're well, going to be seeing a lot of Hello Kitty collection. I'm going to be talking about maybe like one or two of this. Or maybe I don't talk about them. But there is a lot of them. The one that I'm going to talk about, it's with Shu Amora. And it's going to be Rock the Party collection. And you have, I think, two eyeshadow palettes you have lip products you have their like i think this is a very like best seller thing that they have which is the cleansing oil and i think you have a brush i think an eyebrow product yeah eyebrow pencil a lash curler i don't know if you know this but i love hello kitty i don't think shuamura is available to buy here but i will try to get something from them because it's so beautiful i know their lipstick is also like a well-loved product maybe but but i will try to get the lash color because it's the only thing that i see like having in my collection forever you know with a lipstick it goes bad and we throw it away with an eyeshadow palette i don't like the shades in the eyeshadow palette so i think like the lash color will stay in my collection forever it's so cute it's so cute i love it hello kitty man is the only thing which is very like childhood that i'm going to buy ever <laughs> anything else or totally spice i don't know why no one is doing collection with them color pop come on totally spice everyone loves them everyone loves them every month someone starts talking about it on twitter and i go and say i'm just like oh my god yes <laughs> let's talk about this thing that i find much more cuter than the last Thing we talked about from this brand and it's the position formula like limited edition butter bodies collection the last one which was like cake and the donut that looked ugly <laughs> this i find much more cuter because it's just only like a face and the faces are super cute i don't think i've ever bought anything from position formula 
and i don't think i will because even though they look cute it's not good enough reason you know let me talk about the things that is available here this one you have a banana powder you have a highlighter you have a setting powder you have a bronzer and another setting powder and also a blush and all are in one shade thank you so much for thinking about us this is shade formula but they're cute they're cute but again not a good enough reason for me to buy something you know oh my god i'm talking so much calm down calm down calm down calm down colourpop did another collaboration with hocus pocus this was around two you have a 12 pan eyeshadow palette three lip creams super shock shadows a stamp a mirror and also candles which i'm thinking we're going to be seeing candles from colourpop soon because they always do this where they come out with like one product in a collection and then like few days later they come out with like a whole range of this specific product that is new for that collection it's available now to buy on colourpop and the only thing i love is the packaging the purple and the orange purple and orange always look so good together or in packaging wise i don't know if they will look good together on clothing though that's not the point of this video though <laughs> the cardboard i like the inside again i still haven't watched hocus pocus and i don't think i will ever will but hmm that's fine it's fine i think i should leave this for the fans they will probably have like an opinion better than i will because i don't i don't have any feelings towards hocus pocus oh they also have a black lipstick which is super cool to see especially from colourpop did you hear the news of Mecca and Smashbox? So while we're saying, apparently, Swanwood said it, while we're saying goodbye to Becca Cosmetics, some of the best sellers, or not some of them, the only thing that is going to be like produced still and Smashbox will be producing them is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Press Highlighter and also the character, which I use, I have it on now but i apply like a concealer so you can't really see it very well obviously it's a character you should apply a concealer on top actually they're going to be more shades because it was only like fair to medium and medium to dark which let me show it to you this was the medium to deep one as you can tell that's not good enough for people with a deep skin tone so now they're going to have fair light medium medium dark and then dark which is good to see because if it's like a well-loved product more people should buy it and use it as well i'm glad they're going to be doing that i don't know why it took them so long though it's good to see it's good to see they also have the highlighter obviously but i don't think they will be adding more shades i think it's going to be like the normal shades which i think is kind of dumb like add more shades make it different maybe a little bit anyway so if you are into the highlighter and the under eye character now you can buy it from smashbox and i don't know how long it's going to be available on smashbox maybe until people don't buy it anymore or maybe they will have it forever who knows i don't like this product as much it has like shimmers or glitters i don't know um and this product and as i am someone that sets my under eye you can clearly see it. it it looks like i have glitter under my eyes and i don't really like the look so i don't think i will be buying this as soon as i finish this i have a lot more characters that i really want to try like the nars one the charlotte silvery one i really want to try them so yeah if you don't set your under eye maybe you love it more than i do and maybe you won't care because it probably won't be showing up as much but I have like a very matte face at all times I try to keep it matte at least because if I don't my makeup is melting off my face because I have oily skin so that's not the look I want let's talk about another thing and it's also holiday we're seeing a lot of holiday products especially since December is coming so a lot of holiday product and this is from Charlotte Tilbury you have a new eyeshadow palette and it's called the smoky eyes of forever are they <laughs> you have lipstick i think are these matte yeah they're matte lipstick and you also have 
the advent calendar that you can buy with the eyeshadow palette i love this packaging of this eyeshadow palette and i think it will make me buy this eyeshadow palette even though i don't like love love the shades in them it, they're fine i think they're fine but i don't know i can see like now like maybe two shades that i don't think i will ever use like the light shade in the palette and also the black i don't use black ever <laughs> in my looks so two shades that i know i'm not i'm not gonna use then that's only from the picture so i don't know how it's going to be when i have it in my head but i really think i'm gonna buy it i'm gonna wait for a sale on because whenever a product that is for holiday it usually goes on sale after the holidays so maybe then i'll buy it if it's still available but i love the packaging i mean i love the pink i love the berry shades or not the berry like the warm shades and the greens and i know that charlotte tilbury has a very like loved eyeshadow quality so maybe i will try it and i've been really 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 wanting to try charlotte tilbury products so if it was on sale i would buy it like i don't mind because usually i have like one or two shades that i can't use and then i should have it that usually happens all the time especially when there's like light shades in the palette i never use them because they won't show up on me and they look white so why would i use them so i don't mind buying palettes that oh my god i keep going to middle but i don't mind buying an eyeshadow palette that i know i'm not gonna use like one or two shades then like that is something that i have to deal with all the time so it doesn't stop me price is still a lot especially for charlotte Tilbury. her prices are very expensive so if it's like 30 percent off 40 percent off maybe then which i'm thinking it's going to be because holiday product really really like something 50 percent off because they want to like sell it and get rid of so we'll wait until then and let's have but one thing that is for like holidays and it's going to be like what's it called gift gifting gifting product i don't know but this i want to talk about because i've heard good things about this product and i also am hoping to buy it so pharmacy are coming out with the garden party green clean trio and you have like three cleansing bombs i don't know how big they are and it's going to be 42 dollars it's available now to buy sets that's what they call them sets i forgot <laughs> but i really really want to try their cleansing balm i've heard people say it's the best cleansing balm that they have ever used so i really want to try it and the scent over these mm -hmm. yes you have peach you have lime and you have strawberry yeah obviously i'm gonna buy it i hope it comes available on culti beauty i really hope so I really hope so. And if you live in the US, I think it's available in Sephora, the US, and maybe Canada, I don't know. But they usually have like similar collection of like, products. So <sighs> I hope I hope it comes available for me to wear because I'm really, I'm really, really into it. Okay, let's talk about this holiday collection from our class. I should stop saying holiday collection because most of the products here are holiday collection. But you have two of the like ambient lighting edit one of them is called universe and one of them is called universe unlocked and also there's going to be an ambient lighting palette volume 3 for medium to deep skin tones with three new shades so i know they have like this ambient lighting palette available i think they have one shade that was available forever and then they came out with another one this year which was basically like hey we do care about people that are darker <laughs> and it wasn't that dark it was like i think it was modeled on someone that is a bit darker than me and it looked like something i would probably be able to use so that was horrible horrible but this one looks a bit darker so that's good i think they should have another one coming soon they probably want they probably want anyways the big holiday edit that they usually do every year they always do like one and it's always like too light for everyone so now they came out with two and uh, i don't know which one is supposed to be for the darker one because the one with the dark packaging the bronzer looks lighter 
and in the lighter one the bronzer looks darker than in the one in the darker palette and then when you look at the blush the two blushes in the darker palette look dark so that gives you impression that's supposed to be for darker people but then the bronzer is darker in the light palette i don't know so maybe it's i don't know i don't know but even if the one with the dark bronzer which is has the light packaging is supposed to be for dark people the blush i think is too light i don't know i don't know i don't work in our class i don't know what they're thinking i don't know where their brain is at we'll see when people that are darker actually buy it and try it out we'll see them because as of now you can only see pictures and that's not good enough information let's talk about another thing i have been talking for 34 minutes ariana grande coming out with her brand is going to be called ramp beauty i'm super excited to see what she comes out with i'm just like it's genius whoever is going to this pop star and telling them to come out with a beauty line they know their stuff like rihanna everyone loves her selena gomez everyone loves her ariana grande everyone loves her so i know it's going to be successful because a lot of people love three of this woman i mean fenty beauty is super successful rare beauty is super successful so i'm thinking this is going to be as well very well loved so i'm excited to see what's going to be available from what people have like looked at from what's it called trademark registration or something i don't know there seems to be like brow products mascaras eyeliners lip products under eye brightener skincare body care and also hair extension which makes sense because you always wear hair extensions and she always looks so good so i am looking forward to it i love ariana grande who doesn't and the, her makeup is very much my style which is like very basic so i'm excited to see what she's going to be coming out with and then we'll talk about another another pop star Fenty beauty she came out with um an eyeshadow palette a highlighter trio and also three new shades and like what are these called uh the gloss bomb heat universal lip luminizer and they also came out with a liquid liner and a brown shade i've heard good things about her eyeliner and i really want to try it because i don't wear eyeliners that much so i really love the brown shade so who knows but if you think i'm not gonna buy the highlighter trio you're wrong i want to buy this i didn't see anyone talk about it yet which is surprising it's maybe not that good people are not into it anymore i think people don't really buy highlighting palette anymore especially when you have three different kinds of shades you have like light medium and then dark and no one is going to be like all of these shades the only stupid person that will buy it is me <laughs> because i really really love the diamond what's this highlighter called let me let me find out the diamond bomb triple drop all over diamond veil as a storybook but it's going to be 42 dollars it has fenty glow fussy and chocolate cute whoever is coming out with the names and fenty beauty if i ever come out with a beauty brand i want to hire them because it's so cute they're just so they're just so good at making naming things every time i just read the name of the product i'm just like smiling like an idiot because <laughs> they sound so good okay let's talk about this brand from nikki tutorials she came out with a beauty brand obviously it's called nimia i love the packaging the blue like the royal blue and the orange and she looks so good i love it i am looking forward for makeup because this is much more like skincare and i know she's really into skincare i've heard i love the packaging of these products you have a cooling stick you have a cream you have a serum you have a fan which is super cute because she applies like setting spray so obviously she needs a fan she also has a setting spray i'm looking forward for the makeup that she comes out with because that woman knows how to do makeup every time i see pictures i look at her videos she's like how are you so talented <laughs> okay i think i'm gonna end it here because i talked a lot it's going to be a 40 minute video and no one needs to see me for 40 minutes 
so thank you guys so much for watching if i was in the middle or throughout the video i'm going to be in the middle now because i'm not going to be talking about anything else but sorry if i kept coming into the middle the whole time i was talking i just get distracted when i'm talking and i can't sit still if you don't know i am horrible at sitting still <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for hopefully watching me for 30 minutes because i cut a lot of it out and yeah good luck to you i hope you brought a snack I hope you are also looking forward for makeup because I really am. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!